We were watching the news when Kabul fell and it really just broke our hearts and we were trying to find something to do and we felt really helpless. We heard about um, agencies in our community that were doing things for Afghan families. I contacted all of our neighbors in, the, in our block here and a bunch of us just started phone treeing and emailing and texting each other, figuring out ways that we could support a family. We began to collect stuff and just get as much as we could. And this family over here got a couch and this one over here got silverware and we got a desk and we got, and the things that we couldn't um, contribute ourselves, we went out and bought. We had a lot of volunteers and neighbors come on the day of the move-in and it took us about three days to do it all. It was a whirlwind of community action and we just did it. We sort of, you know, pulled up our sleeves, rolled up our sleeves and started putting all the furniture together, putting carpets down, buying food, and just really trying to be as present um, and as unobtrusive as possible to a family that was clearly in shock. I helped build the chairs. I also gave them like my bike. It makes me feel good to like help other families and you know I'm doing it for like a good reason and a good cause. So like it feels like I'm actually part of something very, very big. When we finally kind of were able to settle down and hear their stories and they showed us pictures of what their home used to look like back in Afghanistan and, and why this was so important to them, it really hit home of what an incredible relationship this was that we had formed between our families here in D.C. and a family that had been flung across halfway across the world into these entirely new circumstances. And I think that to me was just the heart of it, the core of it, was how can we share this love, this sense of home, this sense of community with a family that is suffering such deep trauma. Welcome.